Hi, hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Um, in today's video, my, wow, my hair is just looking all sorts of wild. I had like a ton of dry shampoo and products in it, so it's just really living its life today. Um, so really quick, I have another Ulta haul, a bag overflowing, so I figured I would share with you guys some of the recent things I've picked up. And yes, it's only like two weeks after my last haul because I have a shopping problem. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump right in have my bag here as well as like a couple of other products that are overflowing out of the bag so I'm going to do the ones outside of the bag first so first off this this is from the brand tree hut you guys are familiar with them just because they make those like sugar scrubs exfoliating scrubs for the shower so they came out with these and I was so excited because this is just like something I haven't previously seen on the market this is a moisturizing shave oil so a lot of times I like like coconut oil to shave with. It's really moisturizing and I was like, what a cool concept. So they have these in a ton of different scents. There's like vanilla bean, lavender, um, Tropic Glow is like one of their newer releases. They have a matching sugar scrub. So if you wanna like complete the scent profile, you can get the same scent in the shave oil. I also thought, and I don't know if you can put these on your face but I also thought maybe this would be good to um, dermaplane with because you need something to slide so I'm always like using like jojoba oil or like rosehip oil or something to kind of slick over the um, the dermaplane you know so you're not like pulling on dry skin so I think this could be cool I just don't know if this would make you break out but that's the first product. Second thing, I just was kind of running out of face masks and I smelled this in store and it smelled so nice. Um, so this is by, and I've never bought anything or heard of this brand, Vitamins and C Beauty. I don't know if this is like newer to Ulta, um, but it smells super citrusy and like fresh. It's a deep pour. I've been super into this like deep pour or like... Um, was the other one I got I'll show you but like you know that it cleans like deep 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 into the skin so this says it's a deep pore exfoliating mask clears away dead skin cells and blackheads instantly refreshes skin heals and clarifies and it's blue sea kale grapefruit so I was like oh is it gonna smell like kale no it's just like this really creamy like light blue whipped texture just smells very interesting like just very spa like um so it's good i tried it twice i actually did it again last night so just another face mask also this is one of the brands um that i um, represent for beauty barrage it's pronounced osea if you guys checked out my last video which just went up for mother's day you saw the best sellers kit well i'm obsessed with the body oil so i just got one to throw into my bag i ooh. I always kind of want um, something like this to keep, I just got some oil on here, so good moisturizing opportunity. So this is um, something I'm always thinking that I want in my bag um, so that in case my skin, like elbows or knees are ever dry, this is just so amazing, this body oil. It's made with Andaria Algae, which is like their powerhouse ingredient throughout a lot of their collection. Um, so smells very citrusy, very zesty, very bright, but very fresh as well. So the full size goes for 48, so I'm so happy that they made like a little baby version and it's a dry oil. So you put it on and it like pretty much absorbs into the skin immediately. Like there's no greasy residue. And again, most of their products are so divine and just like luxurious body products. Um, so I'm so glad that they made a baby one for only $12. The only thing I get a little bit nervous is this is an oil, so should it ever leak, I've never had problems with it, but should it just open accidentally, it would like destroy your bag. So carry with you at your own risk, but I love it, I'm obsessed. Okay, next we have a Fenty Beauty Matchstick. I'm sure you guys have seen these. Everyone really loved them and they were super popular when they came out. I already had a contour stick so I didn't need it yet but now I'm finally ready to purchase and again this is the shade amber which everybody 
uses for contouring because it's a really like cool toned shade and what I love about these they're really creamy and like easy to blend out you can like just kind of draw them on almost like a thick crayon so they're really easy to get like the nose contour love and again just kind of blend out like a dream very forgiving who's been barking so much I'm gonna kill him today I feel like I say that every video but it's true okay next up I have these I am so happy I bought these you can't even see them um because I bought like the little sponges of the makeup eraser sponges from Sephora a while ago but I've been using them for over a year and they're so beat up so I needed new ones so I got these ones they were a little bit less expensive it's a seven pack so you have Monday through Sunday you can use one a day and then obviously just wash them at the end of the week you just throw them in the wash with the rest of your clothes and they're like little baby square sponges so I needed these because the other ones are beat up and like disgusting so these are cute. They're like a baby pink and a like leopard print. Uh, removes makeup easily using only water. So I love those. Next up I bought, I was really going through it this week at Ulta. I just wanted like everything like luxury. So I got like some new makeup little sponges and I was in the same section and I was like satin pillow rollers. So these are like the old fashioned um, like hair rollers so you you know take one I'm not gonna my hands are kind of greasy but you just kind of roll up and then you like you know tie them together and you sleep in them and they're basically for like dry heat like heatless styling um so again my hair is just so fragile because it's blonde and just baby fine so I thought that these would be great to just put in my hair damp and then sleep in, sleep in them and then get like a heatless curl. So I got those. I hope they work. I'm not sure, but we'll try them. And then again, while I was in the same section, I was like, oh, satin pillowcases. So I have one and it's pink and it's just so old and kind of dirty. I've washed it a ton of times. So I'm going to get two. I just bought one for now. I think these were, yeah, $19 each. Um, but yeah, just a satin pillowcase and my bedspread is tan, so I just got one that would like match. And then continuing right along, again, I've been like really loving putting on my foundation with a foundation brush. My beauty blenders were like my go-to for the longest time, but I was like, you know what? I'm sick of washing them. They never come clean. These ones are just much easier to wash, and I feel like you can really, you know... Just get into all the little nooks and crannies and valleys with a brush like this so I have one already from Kat Von D and I just got a second one this is by the brand Real Techniques and just look for the one if you want that says for foundation because obviously not all brushes are dense like that and good for foundation apply okay then from the brand La Roche Posay I don't really have like a dedicated face lotion. A lot of times I just put my serums on and sunscreen and my sunscreen almost acts like a moisturizer. But I feel like I really do need a dedicated moisturizer. So this one caught my attention because it's from their Toleron line, which is for, you know, sensitive skin that's kind of like really been through it with acids or peels or laser treatments, all of which I do. So it says it's their double repair matte moisturizer for oily combination skin dermatologist tested so it's oil free non comedogenic um, fragrance free it's got ceramides and niacinamide in it niacinamide is amazing just helps with texture and pore size all of the good things it's ultra light gel cream with ceramide 3 and it also has oil absorbing powders perlite and silica to help replenish replenish essential moisture and minimize visible shine non greasy it feels refreshing upon application and leaves skin feeling clean and comfortable so I just felt like I needed this to help maybe repair skin barrier and also keep my oil control somewhat in check so I love that brand I have some other things from them as well okay and then I bought some things online during like their recent spring haul so this I got for myself it's the magic changing foot I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. It's They're from like Korean companies, so I can't even read the back. It's all in Korean. But 
basically you put them on their like little mini socks and you leave them on for like a half an hour and then within a day or two it completely peels all the skin off the bottom of your foot leaving your feet baby soft so if you're someone who has works out a lot like me or just has calluses your feet are nasty dry crusty whatever my feet aren't really soft to begin with so i don't know why i thought of doing this but it's just kind of fun within a day like last time i did it i was like this isn't working because it says it could take up to 48 hours and the second day like my entire foot was just peeling in shreds you're supposed to resist the urge to peel the skin and just kind of let it like sloth off itself but it's like very it's strangely addicting to like get the skin off the bottom but your feet are baby soft after this and I just thought that this would help especially since I wear high heels a lot and I'm on my feet this would just be like a good overhaul for my feet um, but I love it on the back it's you know that it's Korean people are writing this so they don't always have like the proper English translation I'm not making fun but this is just really funny Tony Moly changing you magic foot peeling shoes steps that can transform an average looking woman into an attractive lady <laughs> like what this doesn't even have anything to do it's a foot peel steps that can transform an average looking woman into an attractive lady wow to make your feet feel smooth from the tips of your toes <laughs> like obviously they did not get this you know um translation correct but it just says, please reread the instructions before applying. And then it says, within four to six days, the dead cells naturally start feeling off your feet. Do not try peeling them off forcefully. You will have smooth and soft feet in about two weeks. So it's just kind of a fun thing to do if you've never tried this. It's oddly satisfying. <laughs> and then I got this from my mom for Mother's Day. She's got some of that, like, skin laxity. Um, she's lost weight, so, you know, from where she used to have fat there, it's just one of those problem areas for women in general. So, um, she wants to do things that are, like, tightening for, like, the jawline or slimming for, like, the neck um, chin area. So I just got her one of these, Chin Lift Firming V-Line Patch. Targeted stretch marks pulls chin up for a firmer lifted look. So, this will obviously only help to a limited degree, but it's something that she could definitely do to help the process. Okay, then really quickly, my battery's about to die. I just got two pairs of lashes. I wore these last night, hence why they're like off the little tray. Um, these ones are really cool. I didn't realize for magnetic, I thought it was just like a magnet, mag magnet on there where you put them on and the magnets on the bottom and they click together. That's in my mind what I thought. But it says this one, no adhesive needed. Luxur luxurious, lightweight, no adhesive needed. But then um, it says use with magnetic liner, liquid or otherwise they're just like traditional lashes and they're very pretty. I love these because they have like a really nice curl to them. Um, but you do need to buy a magnetic liner if you want them to be magnetic. And then the other pair, just super pretty and fluffy. Um, these say they're the most mink-like, and I agree with that. Whenever I look at lashes, I look like, do they look fake or do they look, like, really pretty and wispy? And these ones I wore last night, oh my goodness, they just give you, like, the prettiest daisy duck little wing. And they're super curly and fluffy. Um, and these are by the brand Kiss. For like faux mink ones, these were pretty inexpensive too. I got them on sale, but I think they were on $7. And it says Lash Artistry, unique woven and tweed lash line made of most mink-like lash material, long tapered technology. I love these, they're so pretty. Again, wore those last night and they were showstoppers. I just feel like they take any look to the next level, um, eye look wise. And yeah, you just look more attractive, <laughs> your makeup, everything with lashes on. So I highly recommend, I'm a lash girl. And then last couple of items are mainly beauty other than this one. This was the other um, face mask that I picked up. This is by the brand Formula 1006. And it's, again, I said I was into those like deep exfoliation. This is called Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Milk with Orange and Bergamot. I thought it was gonna smell weird, but it actually just smells really good it's a clay like like a light orange formula um it's a super cleansing detox mask uh cleanses impurities for a clearer brighter complexion the energy of orange recharges 
while sea salt cleanses and bergamot balances, your face will notice the difference. So I usually mask about two to three times a week depending on my schedule, but I'm always recommending trying new ones because I'm just a mask, a masking kind of girl. Um, and then this little baby um, was on sale. I think I got this for $4. I don't know if it's being discontinued, but it was on sale at Ulta for like $4.79. This is a really good BB cream. This one's for oily skin. They make one for um, like glowy, more dewy uh, skin. I think it's called Clean Milk or yeah, something milk, skin milk, something like that. It's in a similar packaging. It's just a pink instead of a blue label. The blue is for the clean matte. And this one's just the shade light medium. The My only grudge or gripe against this one is that the smell is a little funky. It smells weird. I don't know what it smells like. It just smells like Play-Doh, but not like sweet. It just doesn't have a pleasant fragrance to it. It's not bad. It's just not good, um, especially when in comparison to my... Um, See your skin but better CC cream from it cosmetics that smells like eucalyptus so it just smells so good and like you know aromatherapy and this just smells kind of a little wonky but anyway it is a very good BB cream and it keeps my skin really matte throughout the day and does like a pretty nice coverage for a BB cream so I always like a re recommend this I picked this up like in New York a couple years ago um, just because my skin was going through it and I was like wow this is actually really good and it's really inexpensive like drugstore by the brand CoverGirl if I didn't mention that. Okay and then I have a lip gloss from Buxom. I had a friend that was working at Buxom and she was talking to me a little bit about some of the lip glosses. I've used them before in my opinion they're all very sticky and this one is no exception. Um, it looks purple in the bottle it's called Wild Orchid it just gives like a little bit of like, if the light were to shine on it, like the reflex are purple, but obviously I just put it on. It does not look like what it looks like in the bottle. And what I love about all these is they're really minty and tingle. To me, this one isn't as sticky as I've tried from them before. I always thought their glosses were really thick and a little ch like, not chunky. <laughs> Rachel, what are you saying? We're like a little um, sticky, but anyway, this one's a good one. Okay, let me open the gate for you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. My friend is literally here. Okay, so I need to wrap up here. And then we have the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I'm not going to get into this. It was just on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for like $10.50, so half off the 21. And then last but not least, this is like the stinking cutest thing from the brand Winky Lux. It's in the shade Pounce, and it's a little cat in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think these are called their Perfect Lipsticks, and they're just like the prettiest sheen like they're not quite color, just very hydrating. And I'm gonna take what I have on. This is very, this is very uh, ladylike, <laughs> lovely. Just to show you guys what this looks like. Super hydrating, you get like a little wash of color, but that's pretty much the gist of it. I love it, they have like all sorts of like butters and oils in them to be really hydrating. And the packaging is just super cute. Again, these are the Perfect Pout lipsticks from the brand Winky Locks, and this is the shade Pounce. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, leave me any comments below if you guys have tried any of this stuff. If not, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.